In this video, we're going to take a look at the Earth's spheres. And so by the end of this video, you will be able to understand the differences between the four spheres, as well as be able to identify which sphere something is a part of. So let's kind of start with the world that we live in. And the world that we live in, our Earth, it's made up of so many different things. And so when scientists talk about some of those things, they need to be a bit more specific and they need to categorize different parts of the Earth and divide those objects and the different components up into pieces to be able to talk about them in a little bit more detail. And so the way that we divide the earth up and our environment is we divide them into the four spheres. So the four spheres, let's start with the first one. The first one is the lithosphere. And this is pretty much all the hard kind of bits of our environment. So this could be things like rocks and sand and clay and minerals. The second sphere is our atmosphere. And this is pretty much all the air that surrounds us. So this is the all the gassy bits, the air that we breathe in and the air that is around us. We also have the hydrosphere. Now the word hydro means water. And so this is referring to all the bits of our environment that is related to water or the watery bits. And then finally, we have the biosphere. So the biosphere is all of the living beings and the things that we create as living beings and the things that we interact with. So there's quite a few different sort of pieces that go into the biosphere. All right, so now that we have a quick definition of each of the four different spheres, let's take a moment to identify which parts of this picture belong to which sphere. What I'd like you to do is pause the video here and try to figure it out and we'll come back in a moment to go over the answers. Okay, so welcome back. And so let's take a look at our picture here and go through our four spheres. Now let's start with the lithosphere. So the lithosphere is the Earth's uh, outer shell. And in this picture, it's all the rocks. So you can see some rocks within the lake here. You can see the mountains in the background. You can also almost see the sand on the beach down on the far sort of shore there. And so all of those parts are part of the lithosphere. Now the atmosphere, it's a little tricky to see this, but this is all the air that doesn't include the rest of what's in this picture. So it doesn't include the trees, the water, the land, etc. And so the atmosphere, as we know, it's the layer of gases that surrounds a planet or moon. And so this is gonna be the sky, like all of the gas around here, um, as well as what's kind of surrounding everything else within this picture. Now, the atmosphere on Earth is actually made up of four different layers, and the properties of each layer is a little bit different, but we're gonna get into that in another video, so we'll save that for a little bit later. Okay, the hydrosphere. Remember, hydro means water, so this is any of the parts of this picture that has water. So this is the, even the clouds in the sky are made up of water vapor. And so that would be part of the hydrosphere. Obviously the lake itself, the water involved in the lake is part of the hydrosphere. And even you can see some of the snow on the caps of the mountains that would also be considered part of the hydrosphere. So pretty much anything that involves water um, so we got the lake, the clouds, other water vapor, you know, if this was a very humid day, that would also be part, the humidity would be part of the hydrosphere and then the ice on the mountains. Finally, we got the biosphere. So remember bio 
means living. And so this is any of the living organisms and the environment with which they interact. And so this could be things really like pretty much everything in the picture um, because living things do interact with everything within this picture. They interact with the water. They interact with the trees on the land. They they interact with, you know, the minerals in the lithosphere. So pretty much everything within this picture is part of the biosphere. So hopefully you were able to figure that out um, in terms of the question. Now I just, just want to highlight really quickly here the interactions between the spheres. So we have the hydrosphere at the top here, so that's the water on the surface of the earth. Uh, we've got oceans, rivers, lakes, rain, mist, all of that sort of stuff. We have the lithosphere down in the bottom right, and that's part of the earth's crust. So we've got landforms, rocks, soils, all of those sort of pieces. And then our atmosphere on the bottom right is all of the gases that surround the earth. So we have gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide, there's also nitrogen gas, and uh, there's a few other gases within the atmosphere. And then your biosphere is actually at the intersection of all three of these other spheres. Because remember, it's the living beings on Earth, but it's also the interactions that they have with their environment. And so living beings do interact with each of the other three different spheres. So that's it for this lesson. Hopefully that helps and we'll see you in the next video.